Woo! Hey everyone, this is Daryl from Daily Crypto Chase Units coming to you live, live from Asia. Guys, it's a great time to be live or not. We're about to see a huge, huge death cross happen, not only for Bitcoin, but also for Dogecoin, guys. So we're going to be talking about that. What does that mean to you out there? What does that mean to the community out there? Is this really, really bad? Like, are we going to be making this kind of face? Or are we just going to be like, this is nothing. We've seen this before. We're going to be moving on. So we're going to be talking about that. I'm going to tell you what I think. I'm going to show you what the technicals think. And you're going to have to make up your own mind, guys. So let's get it. Let's get it. Let's get it. And remember, none of this is financial advice. Just the OG in the house expressing my opinion out there, guys. So, guys, if you're fearful, if you're fearful, don't watch anymore. Stop watching. Stop watching. This is going to be scary. We're going to be seeing a huge technical out there that is called the Deathy Death Cross, guys. So let's get into it. So go back, watch all the other videos, guys. Don't miss a beat, don't miss a trick, guys. And if you want to see the OG at the beach, go back and watch. Dogecoin developer said this. I thought that was kind of interesting what he did say. And he was kind of telegraphing the community about how to be safe, what you should do to be safe, be safe out there, guys. So interesting, interesting, guys. So let's take a look at what's going on with the U.S. markets right now. So the U.S. markets are kind of neutral out there. In my previous video, I talked about maybe we could be seeing a tankity tank tank out there. So hopefully by the time you're watching this, I'm wrong. And the markets are going to the moon. But I don't know. I got a feeling it's not going to be like that. Either it's going to be like the crappy walk. Burp, 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 burp. Crappy walk. Or it's going to be L News debut. So you know what that's all about, guys. Don't forget to go and smash the likes and show us. Well, let's see what's going on with the heating map right now. So the heating map is looking, looking extremely pretentious out there. Extremely gnarly. And guys, I got to get aware of the eye protection because you know what that means. We're seeing right now that uh, Bitcoin is below the 27,000. 800 level, 800 level that I've been talking about time and time again. If we can't get ourselves above that, it's going to be bow, pow, going down like a donut out there. We're seeing Ethereum is also uh, down as well. So not too, not too, not too good, guys. Absolutely not too good out there. If you take a look at what's going on uh, in terms of the total crypto market cap. And guys, if you guys love the Dogecoin and you guys love the community, guys, you've got to smash Dogecoin 111. And the alien, the alien is also saying you got to smash Dogecoin 111. Get it, get it. <clears throat> Lick those likes. Show some love out there. So we are seeing right now that uh, BTC is about to get up to about 46%. That's that little number up there, guys. If you can see, it's kind of up, up there, up there, over there. And that is telling us that 45.9% of all the market cap that is currently held, so 45.6 .6 of this number is held by Bitcoin, okay? So that's what that means. And we're seeing that the 19.3% uh, of all the crypto market cap, that number, is Ethereum. So that is what that means in terms of percentage. So you can see right now that the dominance out there, the dominance, the dominance is being dominated, dumb, dumb by uh, Bitcoin out there. So that is what that's all about out there. And, uh, you know, we see that uh, some of the trending, uh, still trending coins, arbitrary Bitcoin, Space ID recently added uh, Tender Coin. What? Uh, tender Coin? What's that? Tender Coin? We had some big, uh, big movers as well. But those are, uh, you know, those are, those are what we call Poopoosh Matter Coins out there. And OG, don't chill, don't talk, don't invest in Poopoosh Matter Coins. And like I said, any coin that is younger than two years, stay away from that. Stay away from that. Bad news bears. Bad news bears. Bad news bears. Smash the likes, guys. Smash it, smash it, smash it out there. We're seeing Ethereum is uh, up uh, up in the last hour, but uh, down on the last 24. So we're seeing uh, Bitcoin is kind of neutral. Right now. Oh, OG Public Fake out there. We're seeing uh, BNB is up today a little bit. XRP, Hammer Time. Uh, Cardano is up. Doge, Woozer. Sad day for the Doge community because the things are down, down. And I'm not loving it. I'm not absolutely loving it, guys. Matic is up. Solana is down, up. Uh, we're seeing that uh, a lot of stuff. We're seeing even uh, Shiba Shiba Weebies. Uh, Shiba Weebies are crying over their crying over their uh, biscuits and bit, kibbles and bits. Uh, kibbles and bits is that for dogs or cats? I can't remember. I was a young and a young when that came when that came up. Uh, what's going on, guys? So it looks like a meme phenomenon cools as Dogecoin and Pepe slip. So we're seeing that uh, while the market conditions have brought meme coins down to earth over the past week after the frenzy of trading. So uh, this uh, this article, this uh, this Nav Navesh R R R Ruski, uh, Ruski, okay, okay, uh, Navesh and Ruski out there. Okay, so I I digress. Uh, so you know we got this Peppy coin. I wouldn't touch it with a ten foot pole. 
uh, because it's new, it, it has been uh, has not been around more than two years. You know what my policy is? Uh, I don't touch anything that is younger than two years out there. So, but the Doge, I'll touch the Doge. But we're seeing that overall, you know, everything has just gone down, right? It's not only been it's not only been the Doge. It's it's not only been the Doge, ladies and gentlemen. It's been everything has gone down, did it down? It's a bit of a fluff piece, right? I mean, I mean, the guy's got a the guy's got a. Uh, talk about something but i think this is interesting who trades meme coins so meme car meme coins are meme coins are as the name suggests typically linked to internet memes such as pepe the frog or dogecoin central motivation behind uh, uh behind trading balls and meme coins is typically short-term gains as traders hope to capitalize on new linked to the meme coins and its underlying uh meme so basically they're saying look you know, fundamentally, fundamentally, mean coins have no value and trade entirely on popularity. That is usually issued in large quantities. So basically, this guy is saying that look, mean coins are basically poo poo schmatter coins. They have no utility, no value, and the only thing that pumps is a community. Well, I would beg to differ when it comes to the Dozier Wozier, excuse me very much, Mr. Neveshi out there. Neveshi, uh, you know, get your facts straight. Dogecoin is a fantastic. Uh, cryptocurrency because it is uh, it is fast transaction speed is fast that's a big utility big utility of dogecoin is its cryptocurrency as a currency guys as a currency as african currency it's fast it's cheap it's widely available guys and that is what's really making dogecoin great guys and if you compare the inflation rate compared to the u.s economy right now doge is better so nevesh don't compare to doge to the Pepe coin. I mean, if you're holding Pepe coin, God bless you, brothers and sisters. That's on you. Uh, but guys, remember, FOMO rockets often go to the moon and then crash down like a crazy. So it looks like, guys, Dogecoin whale wallet uh, withdraws 12 million in Doge from Binance. So that's bullish, guys. So typically, according to the data from cryptocurrency transaction tracker, whale alert. A large transfer occurred, occurred, occurred uh, on the Dogecoin blockchain, blockchain, blockchain yesterday. The transaction saw around about uh, a lot of Doge. Okay, moving on, and that's worth about 12.1 million. So this is pretty good because all of this 12.1 million dollars worth of Dogecoin was on Binance. Okay, so the majority of it got moved off Binance. Okay, and it got moved to a private wallet. And that is a good thing because typically when you move from exchange to private wallet, it means that whoever moved it from an exchange don't plan on selling. So they might know something that you and I don't know, and that is the price of Dogecoin is going up, guys. Hopefully I didn't scare the kids out there. And if you're loving this content like I'm loving you guys, don't go down that smash, smoosh, smoosh, tenderize, pulverize the likes, guys. And remember, when it gets tough, the Dogecoin community gets going. Keep strong, Dogecoin community. Dogecoin to the freaking moon. Dogecoin to the freaking moon. When the when the going gets tough, the tough get going, and that's what the Dogecoin community is about. And even though we don't have the Doge father saying anything directly about the Doge, we all know that he's loving the Doge out there. So let's talk about this. We're seeing right now that we are seeing that big uh, Dogecoin right now is about zero seven nine four cents. We do have some resistance at eight cents. We need to get back up there. But we're seeing right now, we're about to see, we could be seeing a death cross coming pretty soon. So based on the trajectory of this, put that around about there, that we could be looking around about, let's see, one, two, three, probably around about this area here. So probably somewhere around the 26th to 27th of April, maybe even a little later, we could be seeing a death cross out there. Now typically, typically, 50% of the time when we see a death cross, things go down. So you can see we had a death cross here. Let's see if we can find a death cross, a death cross out there. I'm looking for one. I'm looking for one. My internet's slow. My internet is slow, ladies and gentlemen. There, I just saw one. I just saw one. So typically we get a death cross here. So when we had this death cross, we did see a little bit of a dump ski, then a recovery, okay? So here's a golden cross, right? A golden cross here. Dump ski recovery. So you're gonna see 50% of the time nothing happens, and then 50% of the time with a golden cross it goes down. So I'm not too concerned about that. We're gonna be talking about uh, Bitcoin. Bitcoin is also looking like it's uh, showing a uh, death cross as well. 
So let's take a look at what's going on with the Dogecoin tokenomics right now. Don't forget to smash Dogecoin. One, 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 three, three, three. And you know what? That three, three, three out there, five, five, five. And the three, three, three is for all the people who don't like the OG. Uh, but there's a lot of people that that just don't like don't like me, don't like the channel. But I don't know what's wrong with them. They keep on watching because I know they keep on watching because they keep commenting the same thing. It's like they got like a list a list of like bad things to say and it's like okay monday wednesday thursday they have this bad thing to say and then you know tuesday thursday the same thing it's just they keep pasting the same thing like okay if you're going to troll the old g at least you know be creative and say something new not the same old same old like come on guys if you're going to be a trolley wally out there and it's always funny because when people are anonymous on social media uh, they say stuff they would never ever say in person because if they said that in person pop But you know what I mean? So that's what that's all about guys. So I, I, People are funny. They make me laugh. So we're seeing that Dogecoin is at the zero seven nine five six I mean you can't get much closer to eight cents, right? So eight cents is acting a little bit of a resistance out there uh, You know eight cents is here. Pow, 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 pow you know, that's the floor, right? That's, 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 that's the rule. Pa, pa, pa. Eight cents. So we're seeing the volume right now is uh, up 17.93%. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Because the weekend is over, people are waking up and people are starting to, you know, get back to the business, which is trading, doing this and doing that out there. So market cap is at 11 right now. News wise, nothing too much, guys. Nothing too much, nothing too much. Uh, we could see, we could see uh, some key levels for Doge coming in. Right now, Dogecoin price prediction, this key level would determine if Dogecoin price could rise 24% or tumble 10%. Woo. So there's a potential breakout above eight cents. I uh, will encourage Dogecoin price to, to rally 24%. So what they're saying is if we can get above eight cents for the Digi uh right here, we could be seeing a nice rally and we could be seeing like a 24% uh, rally. So let's see where that would take us. So we need to get above eight cents, go up 24%. Out there, that would take us around about exactly that would take us 10 percent, 10, 10 cents. So, like I'm saying, if we can break above eight cents, which is kind of like uh, 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 you know, we have to get past that, then we're going to be lovely jubbly out there. We got the, we do have the death cross coming, guys, uh, so that is not good. But if we can get above eight cents, then we could see a nice 24 percent rise to the outside to around about 10 cents. So, that was. That would put us kind of in this tra trajectory here. So that could put us around 10 cents. So that is that is what we're looking at right now. Uh, if, if we can if we can get past the 8 cents. So let me mark that in on the yellow line. There we go. Okay. So that's that's what I'm looking at. Get out of there. Get out of there. I'll put a 999 out there. So that's what I'm looking at. That's what you should be looking at. That's what we're targeting out there. So that is pretty good news out there. So a breakdown below the support trend line uh, will undermine the bullish thesis. And uh, the 24-hour trading volume of Dogecoin is around 1.16 billion uh, out there. So we need to get definitely get, need to get past this area. If not, then we're going to see a sell-off, guys. A sell-off. A sell-off. And we're going to go back down to 075 out there. That's what that's all about. Take it anywhere you want it. Not financial advice. I like the likes. And if you're watching, go down there and give a super thanks. It looks like a heart mark. I mean, it's a heart mark, right? You know, a heart mark, go down there. You see it. Super thank me, man. Send some love out there. Send some love. Send some love. We got Dino in the house. We got Dino. Dino the Dino. You want some love? I I need I need you to get love too. So you know, we got the and we got the whole we got the whole menagerie out here. So we're seeing that the Dogecoin right now is uh 54 percent of holders. Anybody 40 percent out? Pow! So we're almost neutral out there. Pretty close to neutral, but we're seeing mostly bearish in terms of the signals right now. And we're seeing that most holders' composition is 70% holding more than one year. Like the OG, I've been holding on like crazy. And I did say in my previous video, and you definitely need to go back and watch the previous video. It's a really, it's a good video, guys. I do have some dry powder, and I'm going to be picking up some Dizier, Wozier, and I'm going to be picking up some bitty itty bit of baba as well that's what i'm going to be doing guys so definitely you want to do that uh let's take a look at social center right now on the daily it's starting to pick up it's starting to pick up as you see some price movement we're starting to see social mentions are up 31.1 percent we're seeing engagements are kind of like flatline but we are seeing social dollars also picking up so that is pretty good for the dish community out there i'm loving it you're loving it guys i'm loving it i'm loving it guys and we're getting pretty close Closer and closer to having is near hollow, hollow like a madman. Don't forget the DCA, guys. Let me get this inventory refresh. Countdown, see that? Countdown, say back. 348 days. 
three hours, nine minutes, 19 seconds, and a bunch of milliseconds that just keep flashing go. This is like life, right? Every second time you're breathing a millisecond, you're, you're getting closer to the end, getting closer to being planted in the ground, guys. So make every minute count, guys. Absolutely make every freaking minute count. Good news, the DXY is going down, D D D D down, down. I love it. You love it. SBX is kind of just eh, not doing too much out there. Uh, what's going on for Ethereum? Uh, Ethereum, we do have this bull flag out there, a bull flag, and it's not looking pretty. Not not looking pretty. Uh, not looking pretty in the city for Ethereum out there. And it's at 1871 out there. So we definitely need to make some moves, and uh, we need to get above the blue line. That will be indicated by that we're going to return bullish. But right now, we're just very bearish, 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 and we're seeing that uh, you know 1800 is kind of a support level. Where do I see? Uh, Ethereum going. I think we're going to do a bit of a crabby walk. Like I said, there's a bullish, di uh, a bearish divergence coming that could be pushing uh, Bitcoin down to 26, 26, uh, five out there. So we're going to be talking about that. Like I said, looks like Bitcoin Ether Ethereum technical analysis BTC on the brink of death cross on the moving average chain. Pow! What does that mean, guys? What does that absolutely mean? Is it over? Are we gin? We gin like a gin it. Well, you know, we've seen we've seen death crosses before. We did see one here uh, when we had this death cross here. It did push uh, Bitcoin down. We did we did retrace around about uh, thirteen percent. Okay, so that was not good out there, and uh, that was when we hit the bottom around about nineteen seventeen. Nineteen seventeen. Can anybody remember nineteen seventeen? Uh, I, I don't remember. I don't think I was alive then. So, you know, if we do have this uh, death cross and it pushes, it pushes us down 13% from here, that will take us all the way, all the way, ladies and gentlemen, to around about 23, 20, 23, 9. So around about 24K. So if that death cross does uh, move in the same trajectory as this previous death cross that happened around about, when was that? That was March, right? Let me just get that out of it. So that was around about March 5th, Sunday. We had a death count. Pow. And that could take us down to around about uh, about 24K. Okay, just 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 about 24K. So expect the worst. Expect the absolute worst out there. But, you know, remember, that's only 50% of the time. Other times we have death crosses. Nothing happens. We had one here. We had one here. Uh, right here, guys. I look what happened. Bang. Inverse. Bang. We went up. 13.92%, wow. So that's kind of interesting. So we could also go up too. So it's anybody's guess what's gonna to happen to the death cross out there. But it's kind of like 60, 40, right? And it's from, coming from Wicked, Wicked Bitcoin. Uh, Wicked Bitcoin, I don't think we're getting more than 78%, uh, minus 78% epoch. So this is when uh, Bitcoin, this was a low for Bitcoin, 15.474. That is the bottom, write that down. Write it down, get a notepad. The bottom was 15474. 15, go, go, go. Put it in the brain pan, sink it in. That's, you know, and all the people are saying, oh, we're going, to down, we're going down to 10K. It ain't happening. It ain't happening. Wake up, smell the, smell the coffee. We're not going down any lower, guys. Sure, it might go to 19K. Who cares? I'm buying the dips, guys. I'm buying the dips. I'm buying the double dip. And this is coming in from Mustache. He's saying BTC has broken the EMA 200 line plus all the other EMAs in the super guppy. Super guppy. I had a guppy when I was a kid. It was a fish. Uh, to upside and has turned from red to gray. Good news out there. If we look at the history of BTC, 2015, over over there, over there, I think, well, over there, right? And over there on the chart. And 2019, over there on the chart, we could see there was only a short retest after that before we went immensely higher. Immensely higher. Well, you know, that that is uh, that is uh, immensely trying to say pump, right? So not the time to be panicky, in my opinion. So don't be panicky. I like that. Is panicky a word? Don't be panicky, okay? You know, grow a set, okay? Remember, never invest more than you're willing to lose, okay? Remember, don't do that. Don't don't invest your food. Don't invest your rent. Kids, college fund, you know, uh, grandma's walker fund, whatever out there. Don't do that. Remember, uh, invest what you're willing to lose. That way you don't have to worry about it. You don't get emotional about crypto. Guys, keep it simple. Retest. We're doing a retest. And then we're going to bounce higher and higher. And you're going to love it just like I'm going to love it. And guys, don't forget, keep it simple. The smartest way to secure your crypto. Pow! Just put it on a hardware wallet, guys. And, you know, definitely do that. It looks, you know, a ledger. I got the Nano Ledger X. I love it. I love it. I've also got a tracer as well. I got a tracer as well. I got I got two hardware wallets. Okay. Okay. I mean I like that. I like that. I like that. Not only do I diversify my crypto. 
I also diversify my hardware wallets. Pow, pow, pow. So, you know, I like the Tracer, uh, the Nano, I'm sorry, the Nano Ledger. It, it's better for old coins. It's more diversified, a little bit user friendly. The app is good, it's synced with your mobile phone, so it looks good. The Tracer is good. If you're just gonna hold uh, Bitcoin, this is simple. It's a bit cheaper. Uh, it's it, it's not got no. This got all the bells and whistles, right? It's got a built-in battery, it's got Bluetooth, it syncs with your phone, all that kind of stuff. But if you just want to keep it simple, simple, easy peasy, Japanesey, uh, lemon squeezy, get the tracer. Just simple out there. But I like the I like the ledger, guys. Ting ting ting. Check out the linky, winky, 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 guys. And look, smart money is done accumulating, done accumulating, and they're. They're they're buying guys. They're buying. They're going to be buying. And look, Bitcoin the RSI is oversold. We hit this several times during the BTC America. Month, once, once the once the overbought zone has been hit, bang, bull, guys. So we saw this uh, back uh, back here in uh, 2019 when we got oversold like crazy, and after that, bang. So you know we're seeing a prominent overbought zone, and we're seeing our first one here. First sign of bull market. First sig first sign of bull market. So guys, it's in. It's in. It's definitely in, guys. It's definitely in. You know, we've had the first sign of bull market pretty similar to uh, previous years. So that means one thing. We're going up. Going up like a madman. Chuck a lucka. Chuck a lucka. Going up like a madman, guys. It's a great time. So this is coming in from Stock Money Lizards. Like clockwork. Next stop, pre-having zone. So like I said, accumulation. We're starting accumulation. We're going up, guys. We've accumulated here. We accumulated here. Accumulated here. All time highs, and now we're going to be going up. Pow! Back to all time highs, guys. All time highs. Pow! Pow! Out there. So, guys, this is from uh, uh, An Ananda Hyder. Okay, can't pronounce her name. It's kind of a tongue tongue twister. My prediction: 2024, 2025. Bear case. Bear. Bear. Hundred twenty thousand. Base case. Okay, or medium case, 180K. Okay, this is 24, 25, okay? Bull case, like like mad, mad, madman case, is we're looking at 250K. Wow, wow. I got to retweet this right now, and I got to quote it. Wow. Bitcoin, you got to love this. You got, you got to love this. Yeah, let's send it, let's send it, send it, send it, oh yeah, let's send it. So we sent it, it's gone. Hey guys, if you want to be a part of the conversation, you know what you got to do, join the conversation right now, get into our Discord guys, it's a great time to be like. Also, we got some uh, Shibi, Shibi Weeby breaking news as well. Looks like, uh, looks like Kusama, Kusama is back on Telegram, he's tweeting up a storm, uh, well, I, I mean, it's not, it's not Twitter, so it's Telegram, so... You wouldn't say tweeting up. I guess you say messaging up. He's messaging up a storm. And guys, did you guys know that since we had the whole uh, puppy net, we've seen that nearly two months have passed since the beta version of Shapiro Layer 2 network occurred. The puppy net is so cute. The puppy net. Since then, 14 million wallets have been con connected to the network. However, 9 million of these wallets were created by one individual purpose of stressing testing. So keep that in perspective that of the 14 million, Nine were 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 basically uh, made by the developers uh, for stressing. So what is that all about? There, I was like, what, 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 like nine million? Wow! Uh, hopefully they had a computer to do that. So let's take a look. What's going on with Shibi Weeby right now? So Shibi Weeby is a ten a ten twenty four. Uh, let's see where that is in our channel. So it's just sitting, just sitting pretty on our 10, 15 support level. So we're also, uh, it's a bit of a bear flag. I'm going sideways, gonna see some grabby walk, grabby, grabby, grabby walk out there, guys. So that's gonna bring this video to a crazy world, you guys. Don't forget to go follow me on my Twitter, 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 Twitter. Go follow me, guys. We got uh, 7,553 follows. Follow, follow, get up there. Follow, follow. Guys, don't forget to check out all the linky, winky, winkies. Guys, we uh, we got the Dogecoin tippy jar, support the channel. We've got to become a Patreon member. That also helps support. Uh, that, you know, and we got to buy the channel a coffee. Buy the channel a coffee. Uh, see some exchanges we like. I think you get uh, sign up bonuses. Uh, become a channel member. Don't forget to get Nano Ledger promo there and the Tracer promo there. Get it, get it, get it, get it. I appreciate it. I would appreciate it out there. So go and get it. Make 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 yourself happy, guys. This is OG riding a bike. I thought this was kind of funny. 
I, guys, this is funny. Listen up, listen up. This is funny. Watch. I, I like this. It, well, I can put. The OG on the bicycle, Dogecoin is, you know, around, above 8 cents. That's pretty good. So, guys, we're going to see a little bit of a dip, a little bit of correction. So that, that was OG shaking and shaking, shaking. That was that was some time ago. So, it, it just, just uh, OG, it, it, we're not above 8 cents. That was just, I just thought it was funny, me on the bicycle, guys. And it's funny, after I rolled the bicycle here, about five minutes later, I rolled the bicycle, had a, took took some coffee, and I spilled coffee all down me like a two-year-old child. And I was riding around town uh, in all white with coffee, spilt on my shirt like a child. And I just felt like an idiot. So yeah, OG, the idiot on the bike, riding around town with coffee. Yeah, I can't drink coffee. So it's like, oh, out there. So I was kind of funny. Guys, don't, don't forget to get the merch. Be the merch, want the merch, love the merch, guys. So I'll see you in the next one. It's a great time to be alive. Do not panic, go out there. Be lovely, g jubbly. Kiss your wife, hug your wife. Be, be beautiful, make every second count, guys. I'll see you next time, peace out.